सो इट सीम्स लाइक इट इज फाइनली द टाइम वेन एच टी सी डिजायर इट ट्वेंटी यूजर्स के दी एंड्रॉड फाइव पॉइंट ओ लॉली पॉप अपडेट क्लियरली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट लेट एंड अवेटेड लॉली पॉप अपडेट फॉर द एच टी सी लिस्ट ऑफ स्मार्ट फोन इवन इट्स प्रेडिस लाइक द एच टी सी डिजायर एट वन सिक्स गॉट इट अ कपल ऑफ मंथ बैक लकीली आई डिट चेक फॉर द सॉफ्टवेयर अपडेट्स टूडे एंड गॉट द अपडेट डाउनलोड नोटिफिकेशन वाइल द डाउनलोड वॉज नाइन एटी एम बी इन साइज इट डिट टुक लॉन्ग थैंक्स टू माई ट्वेंटी एम बी बी एस इंटरनेट कनेक्शन कंसिडरिंग आई हैड क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ एप्स ऑन दिस डिवाइस इट टुक अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स टू कम्प्लीटली इंस्टॉल द फाइल्स एंड ऑप्टिमाइज द एप्स एंड और फाइनली आई एम हेयर ऑन द होम स्क्रीन ऑन एंड्रॉड लॉलीपॉप ऑन द डिजायर एट ट्वेंटी सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट सम न्यू फीचर्स दिस अपडेट ऑफर्स द फर्स्ट मेजर चेंज दैट यू विल सी इज द न्यू नोटिफिकेशन पैनल It is the new Lollipop style notification center in which on the first swipe you get the date time and network info and on the second swipe you get all the shortcut settings toggle like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness etc. You also have this edit quick settings button on the extreme right which allows you to edit the toggles showing in the quick settings. Change the order by dragging and dropping in order or interchange existing toggles with other ones you want to see in there. Next to the edit quick settings shortcut you also have the settings app shortcut. Scrolling down to about phone and software info you can see that I am actually running on the Android version 5.0.2 that is Lollipop. One more new feature is the search button inside the settings app where you can search for related keywords for different settings and it will show you the options relating to it. One new personalization feature they have introduced is to set a specific lock screen wallpaper. So if you want you don't have to see the same wallpaper on both the home screen as well as the lock screen. One more thing that you might notice if you look carefully in settings is that the sound menu has been changed to sound and notifications and inside it you do get to tinker with app notifications inside app notifications tap an app and then choose whether to block or prioritize its notifications for the lock screen and last but not the least we have the all new card style recent apps tray just slide the apps off the screen to delete them from the background memory or scroll through it like a stack of cards and tap on it to open any app it's that simple Overall I feel the update is majorly about the new personalization options like the quick settings and the recent app tray. So nothing major difference in features or customizability. Though HTC has promised that they will roll out the Marshmallow update for the Desire 20 in couple of months. So let's wait and see what comes in it. And yeah that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did then don't forget to like this video. Also do remember to subscribe to my channel to get notified about my future videos such as this one. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next one.